Hi guys, welcome to my April favorites video. I have a lot of products to go over with you guys, and yeah, how was your guys' week? I hope it was great. Uh, today is Saturday, so I've spent most of the day relaxing because I worked nearly every single day this week since last Friday. I don't know. I feel like I've just just gone nonstop. It's been a very blessed week, and um, I'm working here and there today, but I wanted to get this video shot because tomorrow I'll be really busy working a job, and then um, I have plans that tomorrow night, and I didn't want to wait until Monday to shoot this video, so I'm shooting it now, and uh, yeah, the light is still looking great out here, so I'm hoping that all goes as planned in this video, and yes, I have a, there's something flying, what is that? It's a piece of dust. So I have some beauty products and uh, some beauty products and some more beauty products. So why don't we go ahead and get started with the beauty products. So I have been really, really, really loving the Wet n Wild contour palettes. I have both of them. I got them buy one get one free. I couldn't pass up not getting the other one and I'm so glad I did because what's great about having both is that you pretty much get all you need in a contour set with these and they actually remind me a lot of one of my favorite contouring palettes by Bella Pierre and I've recently blogged about it and I think I've mentioned that, um, that contouring palette in one of my videos if I recall. And it's a mineral palette, and that's what the textures of these remind me of. They're so beautiful, and they're like very, if I can get this one open. One opens really easy, and the other one doesn't open very easy. Really? Okay, it just doesn't want to come open. So, this one's awesome because it has um, a yellow, toned powder which is really fantastic for under the eyes and that's what I use that shade for and then the shade in this palette is darker than the other one that's in this palette but what's really great is that you actually have two shades to choose from but you can also mix them which is really awesome and then you have just a regular powder shade in this compact here and there we are hi bye neighbors and uh yeah, so you get the boast of both worlds with these, and they're really great for mixing too. So yeah, the shades are matte, and I love that, but what I really love about the um, the bronzing shades is that they're so blendable, and they work fantastic as eyeshadows as well. And a lot of the time, if I'm doing a bronze sort of look, I like to use the same color on my crease that I used on my cheeks because it gives a really nice overall look and balance to your face and so I really love it when I can find the car. So I really love it when I can find bronzer shades that work great in the crease as well. Sometimes bronzer bronzer Sometimes bronzer shades don't work all that great in the crease because of something in the formula. It can be a little bit too patchy on the eye, or it just doesn't want to blend, or it has too much sparkle in it. Um, but these are so perfect for the crease, and so I've been loving these by Wet n Wild, and yes, 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 yes. So what else? For makeup, we have... That's pretty much it for makeup products, but I have some makeup brushes here, and what was I doing before this brush by Real Techniques? I mean, I don't know what I was doing before I had this. This is just the... Wait for that car. Do 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 do! I feel like I'm being bit by something. I don't know what I was doing before in life without this Real Techniques. Techniques. <laughs> I really don't know what I was doing in life before this Real Technique blush brush. It's just so perfect. I love it for blush, I love it for contouring, I love it for all over face powder, if I almost just whack myself in the face with this, but it's just the softest, most amazing 
brush that I think I might even own. And I just, I can't be without this. And so yeah, the Real Techniques blush brush. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So there's that brush. And then at Christmas time, I was given this really cute ceramic cup and it has two hearts in the center and it's so pretty that I have a hard time drinking out of it because it's so beautiful and I just want it to be like a centerpiece. And I found this BH Cosmetics brush set that matches this cups. Um, it's like a rosy gold, but not really rose, but not really gold shade that matches it almost perfectly. So I got the, the brush set because I really wanted to have some extra brushes in my collection, but not just because it matched, but because I really wanted the brushes. <laughs> And then when I found out that it did match after I got it home, I was like so excited. So I keep them in here and what I love about this brush set, I have the box here. So this is what the box looks like and it's the Sculpt and Blend 10 piece brush set. So it basically comes with they're mostly just sculpting and blending brushes. So, I mean, but they're so soft that you can use them for really almost anything. Uh, so here's what they look like. I've been using this one here for placing powder under the eye, and I could probably also use it for concealing, but I like it because it's angled and it gets into that little nook so easily. And this brush, I don't know if you can see that, but it's slanted. It reminds me a lot of a Laura Mercier um, eyeshadow brush that I love. And what's great is that this fits right inside your crease. So it's really a foolproof way of putting a crease shade into your eye. Because of the slant, it just naturally fits. And you can even flip it upside down. So here is, is it, this is it right side up and then upside down it kind of just flips around like this and you can use it to even bring down the crease shade if you want it a little bit lower it's just such a phenomenal brush and then the blending brush oh! the blending brush is number 113 and the one I just spoke about is number 121 and the one before that the one that can fit underneath the eye area here is brush number 115. And then the blending brush, oh, it's so soft. It's just like a dream. It's actually, I hate to say it, but because I love my Sonia Kashuk brush so much, it is a little bit softer than my Sonia Kashuk. It's not as, um, it's not as dense. The Sonia Kashuk brush, you probably have seen it in a million of my videos, is um, a little bit more dense, but still a great brush that I will never stop using. I love that brush so much, but this one's just a little bit softer and not as dense. So it depends on the kind of foundation look that you're going for. That's why it's nice to have a selection of blending brushes for your foundation because you can really get the consistency of the base that you're putting on, which is really nice. And then, um, yeah, so this set is just awesome. I'm not going to go into detail about each brush, but because that would take me forever. But you can look it up if you're interested. It's called the Sculpt and Blend 10 Piece Brush Set by BH Cosmetics. Ah! And so, why don't we go ahead and get into skincare? So, I have some dream products that I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to give them up. They are. Okay, so my camera shut off and one of the skincare, actually, I'm wearing three of the skincare products that I wanted to go over with you guys today. And so I've been using this Jurlique Purely Age Defying Eye Cream. It's a firming, revitalizing eye treatment. And what I love about this eye cream is that it's a very non-thick texture. It's very kind of like, like, it almost feels like it's got a gel in it, but it doesn't dry as a gel. It dries more like a cream, if that makes any sense. So it's very, like, smooth and silky. It doesn't 
feel like you're gobbing on a ton of eye cream. And it's actually not all that great to gob on a ton of eye cream. Those thicker eye creams can actually clog the pores around your eye area and it can deposit the eye cream underneath the skin of your eye area, which you can sometimes feel if it's if that's happened to you, you can feel there would be like little dots of like little hard deposits of <laughs> it sounds so gross of um, skin cream underneath your eye area and that's from using products that are too thick and so I really like to use a thinner hydrating eye cream and one that isn't gonna just sit inside your pores and and clog them essentially so I've really been loving the Jerlique eye cream I've really been loving the Bare Minerals Biolucent Mineral Brightening Treatment. It comes in this really beautiful bottle here, and you're supposed to put it on before you apply your moisturizer. Uh, but I actually do it a little bit differently. I wash my skin, and then I put on my eye cream. And then I put on my Measurable Difference Rose Hip. It's a hydrating body oil, but you can actually use it on your face. It says on the back that you can apply it to face as well. And you guys, this is one of the most beautiful oils I've ever used. And I hope I can find it in like bigger bottles because I never need, I, I don't ever want to go without this stuff. And I think that it's so pretty. Look at the flowers floating in the top. It's just beautiful. and it has such a real rose scent because it's obviously real roses that it's made with and it is a very light rose scent. It's not overwhelming, it's not perfumey smelling, it's just so soothing and it's a rose hip oil so it's very like when it goes onto your skin it blends in so fast and leaves your skin feeling so soft and it's like a very beautiful and luxurious oil. So I put this on because it actually helps your foundation to blend in better. So I put this on. And then I put on the Bare Minerals Biolucent. Then I put on my moisturizer, and today I just used my Olay Complete All Day Moisturizer with SPF 15 sunscreen, and then I put this on top of that. And those are the steps that I took before putting on my makeup. And it just gives your skin a really nice glow. And I think that the glow factor really comes from the Bare Minerals Biolucent. So I've really been loving this. A little goes a long way, and when you pump out like a pump, a lot can come out so you want to be really light-handed with the pump you just kind of only need a half a pump really so i've been loving those three products but this rose hip oil like oh it's so good it is so good like this could possibly be my favorite beauty product of life it just is so yummy Ugh. all right so my next product is by a company called soapbox and What's really great about this company is that every time you buy a product, they give one to someone in need. So I really love that they donate. I think that it's really fantastic. And um, they're such lovely people. And this video is not sponsored. I just wanted to throw that out there. But I really just love that they donate. For every purchase, they donate a soap or what have you. So. Um, I have this liquid hand soap and the scent, oh god it's smelling, the scent is mandarin and if you're into citrusy scents, this is very spot on mandarin smelling. It smells so good. And I also have the bar soap version. I didn't bring it out here because I haven't used it yet, but it's the same exact version of this, it's just in the bar soap. And 
I love the smell of this. I just want to eat it every time I use it. So yeah, I've been loving the Mandarin All Natural Liquid Hand Soap by Soapbox. And next we have a couple of items from Petal Fresh Botanicals. And I have the Hibiscus and Papaya Body Butter. Oh, it smells really good. So I've been using this a lot this month. And this is a thicker uh, body butter, so I've really been liking to use it like on my feet, on my elbows, and on my hands. It's super, super hydrating. So I'll keep this on my stand, and I'll put it on at night, put it on my hands, my elbows, my feet, and it just keeps everything super hydrated, and it has a beautiful scent. Mm. I also love the honey scent that they also have. It's actually one of my absolute favorites. So if you guys ever see this brand, if you're out and about, it's Petal Fresh. And this is the Hibiscus and Papaya Body Butter. It's the toning body butter. And it's color paraben sulfate, phthalate, and glycol free. And made with coconut oil complex. So super nourishing and has a lot of great uh, ingredients in it, sunflower oils, uh, peppermint, tea tree oil, like it's just super super natural and I really love it. And so yeah, there's this. Be sure to check out the honey one. The honey one is so yummy. And then also by Petal Fresh, I've been loving their rejuvenating facial wipes in the flavor pomegranate. And these are packed with antioxidants, pomegranate extracts that renew and rejuvenate the skin for radiant younger looking skin. And they're just lightly scented. It's nothing too crazy on the scent. And I just like these for just if I've made an error on my makeup, I like to use them to just wipe it away. Um, it's also nice to just refresh my skin, like especially on a day that I'm not wearing makeup. And like later in the day, just from the products that I have on, I like to just swipe one of these over my face. And it's kind of like an exfoliating process that I do with these wipes. And it kind of just makes your skin that much more glowy. And I've really been loving these. And my dog is going crazy in there. Um, she's probably wondering where I am and what I'm doing. Uh, so that basically is it. Actually, oh, I have a jewelry favorite. So I've been wearing this necklace nonstop. I was in a parking structure at a store a couple of weeks ago. And in order to get your parking validated, you had to purchase something. Otherwise, you'd have to pay for the parking. So I'm like, well, why would I just pay for the parking? And I'd rather just at least buy something. So um, I got this necklace. And I can't take it off. It's just been with me for the last couple of weeks. And I think I've worn it in the past couple of videos, but I just really love it. There's something spiritual about it that I really, really love. And so yeah, this is one of my jewelry favorites for the month of April. And that pretty much concludes this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions about any of the products that I mentioned. And yeah. I will also be doing a corresponding blog if you want to check that out. The link to the blog will be listed below this video. Sorry, I'm a little distracted. There's a bird that sounds like a woodpecker and I can't figure out where the sound is coming from. Do you hear that? Anyway, so I'm getting excited to announce the winner of my Kat Von D giveaway. Your guys' support has been so tremendous and I wanna say thank you to my new subscribers thank you to my current subscribers and i really love how steadfast my current subscriber or my my subscribers that i had before this giveaway are so steadfast in winning the giveaway that they enter in this one as well and i love that you guys are go-getters and i really like that so i'll be announcing the winner using a random uh service how many more days are left in that giveaway i gotta do the math um but there's about a week left in that giveaway. Uh, I think I put a week and a half time limit on it. So yeah, I'll be announcing the winner to the Cat Von D giveaway very, very soon. So yeah, it feels like I'm starting to lose some light here. So I think I'm gonna have to wrap some things up here and take it on inside. And I think I'm going to paint my nails 
I have a job tomorrow, so I'm gonna paint my nails and um, ooh, what else am I gonna do tonight? Probably watch some YouTube videos and probably look for some design inspiration and yeah. I have one more favorite for you guys. My little girl wanted to say hello. She sees Mimi, oh she's being shy. Wanna say hi? Wanna say hello? So, one of my favorites that I have is this little doggy outfit that I made for my other dog. And it looks like this. It's a little plaid like poncho. And so this little jewelry piece rests like on the chest area of the dog. And yeah. See so here are the legs. So the legs go through here. Like that. Da, da, da. So yeah, I style my dogs too. But this is my little meme and she wanted to say hello. I don't know if I've ever brought my dog on my channel. My other dog is inside. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys have any chihuahuas? I grew up with a lot of different kinds of breeds of dogs and there has been nothing like owning a chihuahua. She's the sweetest, most cuddly dog I think I've ever owned and she will perch on my shoulder like a bird. It's the sweetest thing. Aren't you? You're just the sweetest. Oh, She really is so sweet. She's distracted by the birds. But anyway, yeah, I wanted to show you another favorite and I hope you guys like it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!